All right, here we go with the texturing of the gum to match the product line here. Okay, I'm going to select this piece of gum and let's just come in here and have a look at this orange that we got. Well, we're obviously not going to use that. What do we got? Spray can top. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make a copy of this and let's call this just gum. Reduce the metallic and increase the roughness a bit and hey, go for something like that to start off with for the gum. So let's hide this and hide this and choose the gum. And we've got that going on for us. Okay. We're gonna focus just on this stuff here. We're gonna hide the box. And let's hide that for now and let's work on the blister packaging okay so this is going to be uh, gum blister pack let's go to the shading tab and that other stuff has come back but that's okay okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to add a mix shader here we're going to add a transparent down here and drag that in. Now, I should say I am an EV, all right? And what I'm going to do is switch all these things on anyhow. But in particular, I want screen space reflections and I want refraction. And on the material itself, I want to come down to the blend mode and choose alpha blend. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to bring this up. And we're starting to see something. Remember, we've got that solidify on there. I'm also going to bring the metallic up a little bit. And bring the roughness down. Just till I get something that I that I like. Let me keep going with the metallic. It'll give us a nice sort of shine to it and a nice transparency. So I do like that. I think that's okay for now. Okay. Let's bring everything back except for the box. Now for the 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 foil, let's create a new material there. I'll just call it gum foil. I'm not really gonna do it as a foil. I'm gonna bring in a crosshatch pattern on this. So you just find an image that you like on the internet. I'm gonna go Control T, G, drag it up. And I'm gonna choose a crosshatch pattern that I've saved from the internet. I'm actually gonna switch, I think, to object. All right, so we start to get that on it. I'm gonna take this though and move it out. And I'm gonna add I think I think I'm going to do a mix RGB here. Plug that into the fac. To multiply, and start changing these colors a little bit. Until I get something that I like. Now I can see this <laughs> and it's uh, too thick. I mean, it has something like this. And I don't care if it goes on all around, and I'm not going to be seeing the, the bottom of it anyhow. Let's go back to layout though. the general idea but I might want this a bit longer than the blister pack yeah that 
that's the that's generally what I'm going for okay and then we have this and what I'm going to do for this is let's try this at first I'm going to make a copy of this and I'm going to call this gum box that's okay okay so I'm going to put graphics on this and we're going to do uh, three different things I'm going to do some UV graphics on the top I'm going to do some blender text on the side and I might do a decal like thing uh, on the top as well so I'm going to switch over to UV editing like from the top and I've got my gum box there and I'm going to press 3 and C and I'm just going to circle or paint select the top I might need to do something in here okay with that done I'm going to press U project from view and you're going to notice I've got an image in here from before I'm going to get rid of that now let's actually get rid of anything here let's get rid of all this stuff here let's do this again just to be sure should have just the top there we go you unwrap so I've got that now I'm gonna open an image that I've created in PowerPoint This is just a modification of the other images that I was using for the previous products. I've just moved stuff around a little bit and added some text and stuff like that. So we're going to use this. And you can see it there. Um, I'm going to create a material for this. And I'm going to press the plus. Uh, new. And I'm going to call this... Uh, top let's say top label and press assign and in the shading see I'm gonna have to do some work on that we can control T and I'm gonna choose that gum label there there we go I'm starting to get it all right let's go back to the UV editing let's rotate this 90 and GX move it along a little bit I'm gonna scale this down just a little bit and I'm gonna scale this in the X until I get roughly what I want GX, I'm going to move it back. Let's have a look at this. I'm liking that. Now, when you use subdivision surfaces, we'll, this, we'll often get this kind of a thing here. So, I'm going to try just taking this. I want my move tool. Let's see how I want to do this. I'm going to try it this way. And I might do another edge loop in here. I'll be UV this and scale these in the Y. Tighten that up. I'm not worried about the bottom part of this. I will adjust the box. So I have this. Um, over onto the edge a little bit which I may not mind if I did I have to sharpen that edge I think we'll do something like shifty e. but then I get a sharp edge so I don't want to do that now 
Let's go back to here. Let's go back in. Let's select that and just have a look at that. I might scale this in the X just a little bit. I think actually I will unwrap that again. Rotate 90 just position it again. Did I get something else in there? And you just play around with them until you get what you want. And there is the top. Okay. Okay, now let's... Uh, Let's go back to layout. Now I'm going to adjust the size of this. That's okay. That's okay like that. Okay, let's come in here and select this face. And we'll do some text on the side. Text. Okay, let's um, rotate X90. Bring it out a bit. Scale it down. Just come up with something to say here. Uh, let's make this, well, it's just a white color. Let's create a new material. and just choose something okay I could do that and then I could do um, let's see 0.003 we'll try that see if it works looks all right okay uh, I'll just uh, let's get rid of that one I'll just make this not quite so okay you can mess around with 
that you can put some on the other side. I'm not going to do anything on the underside. Maybe I'll put a little graphic on top of on top of this. All right, so I can come in here and select, you know, say this. Bring my 3D cursor there, and I'm going to go Shift A, and I'm going to go Image Image as Planes. You need to have that enabled in in Blender. And I'm going to choose some swirl, just this thing. It's a PNG that I got from the internet. Bring that in and choose a place that I like. And um, yeah, we'll just do something like this. I'll just have a little bit above and shrink wrap, choose as the target this. And just have a little bit of an offset, zero, zero two or something see if that works and on that I might there's the image right there and on that I might bring up the metallic bring down the roughness so it looks a little bit a little bit nicer let's have a look at this so far okay I'm not sure about that well, if it's sticking out too much, but that's the general idea. I can now probably get rid of that piece right there. And I've got that. Let's see. The product line is back. How's everybody looking? Hopefully it looks like it, it fits in with the with everything else. And that is it for the gum. Thanks for watching.